Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Board. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business, and let's wake up the football gods up there. Thank you guys. But before I get on to um, the topic here, let me wish Linda Laura a happy birthday. You know, I realize I am so freaking old. I was going through Instagram and stuff, and I see this post with this lady who says, I'm just trying to enjoy my last few days of my 20s. So my comment was, yeah, I'm still trying to enjoy the last few days of my 20s, 30s, and 40s, and before too long, 50s. Yeah, so happy birthday and enjoy your last few days of your 20s, honey. Yeah. But anyway, time keeps on slipping into the future. And as we were talking about, this is, just, this is like crazy. I was literally talking about Frank Clark versus Demarcus Lawrence, how Frank Clark got a half a million dollars more than Demarcus Lawrence's contract. Because in even talking about Troy Aikman, who got a $50 million seven-year contract, which just blew everybody away. And I was talking about how Inflation happens in football. The price does not go down. Now, we've been talking about Dak Prescott, and everybody's been talking about that Dak Prescott needs to take a team-friendly deal and everything else, take a discount, and we see Russell Wilson blow the market out of the way, get a little bit higher than Aaron Rodgers at $35 million a year. And I said, you want to get Dak Prescott's deal done sooner than later because the price continues to go up. Pay him at today's dollars, not after the market resets. I said, because there's other guys out there. I said, like Ben Roethlisberger. I said, like Jared Goff, like Wentz, uh, Carson Wentz out there that are all going to get paid. And if you go ahead and say, we'll keep him at his rookie contract and then we'll franchise tag him, you're kicking the can down the road when it's going to cost you a whole lot more money. Had we signed D-Law last year, it probably would have cost us $5 million a year less. And here came, right after that video, Ben Roethlisberger. The Steelers are trying to have his deal done before draft night on Thursday. Now, what's interesting is, is he's in the fourth year of his $87 million contract, his last year of it. Four years, $87 million, getting paid like $23 million this year. So I'm waiting for everybody to say that Ben Roethlisberger, since, you know, they were paying a whole bunch of money for Antonio Brown, who's no longer there, and, you know, Le'Veon Bell's gone, and they've got some holes to fill, I bet they're telling him, you need to take that home team discount, right? Right? Right, Ben? You're going to take the home team discount so they can put people around you, right? You're not going to go for a 30 plus million dollar contract, right? Because isn't that what quarterbacks are supposed to do? They're not supposed to get big money because, well, you know, his team didn't make the playoffs last year and they've got holes to fill. They got to replace Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell. They need a better offensive line. Their defense needs some work. So, yeah. But I guess, I bet, he won't be taking that home deep discount. I guarantee you, it'll be up in the 30s. It may be shorter because he is older, but he's not taking a discount. And I'm waiting for everybody to say he should take a discount. And unfortunately for the Cowboys, the more of these guys that keep getting these deals done, the more the market gets inflated. By this time next year, I dare say that Kirk Cousins' deal will look like a bargain. Seriously. All these quarterbacks out here, and when they get to Pat Mahomes, whew, yeah, Cowboys, get Amari Cooper's deal done sooner than later. Get yourself some cap relief for this year, and then get Dax done before all these other quarterbacks keep hitting this cycle. As much as you guys think that Dak Prescott should get like $20 million, we'd be lucky if we can get him for 28 or 29. And you keep on dicking around, 
it's going to be in the 30s. So, that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to tune into Law Nation because Law is having a uh, um, social media lawyer on his uh, live stream tonight. And they're going to be talking about things you can do to help protect yourself being a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, Facebooker, and all that. Because the game is changing. It is evolving. And things you used to could do, you can just get shut down for. So I'm curious to definitely get as much knowledge as possible. So as always, friends, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. I'll see you soon.